Hi everyone. Thanks for taking the time to join us on this webinar focusing on advanced pattern recognition and how history can improve plant operation. Today we'll discuss what advanced pattern recognition is, how it plays a key role in the plant digitalization strategy, and how our solution Han PHI improves plant operation by increasing lead time for maintenance activities. My name is Sarah Klein and I'm the general manager here at Hanara Software in Austin, Texas. And I'm here with one of our customer support engineers, Chris Merrick, who will later give a brief demo of our solution, Han PHI. Some background on our company, Hanara Software provides optimized software solutions to help the process industry improve plant management and maintenance. The purpose of our tools is to enable active monitoring and give plant personnel and management a more complete view of the plant's condition. So we've been hearing a lot about Industry 4.0, smart factories, smart plants, but what does this all mean? Plants can turn data into actual intelligence, but it requires plants to view data as a corporate asset and a tool for all levels of the organization. This strategy of digitalization, which goes beyond digitization, is changing and will change how we do business in the future. Through data, we believe plants achieve stable plant operation and efficient management. A study of the power industry in 2016 found that the major focus for the power industry is reducing operating costs, with the largest technological trends impacting their business as real-time monitoring, predictive analytics, and the convergence of IT, OT, and ET. And advanced pattern recognition is at the core of this. So what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear pattern recognition? Maybe you think of those mind teasers in the Sunday paper of what should go next, a square, a circle, a triangle. A pattern is simply a collection of similar objects with similar shapes. And recognizing the similar items movement is pattern recognition. In other words, pattern recognition is identifying that something similar happens regularly. In the field of cognitive science and artificial intelligence, pattern recognition deals with the problem of recognizing objects by computers. Pattern recognition has five steps. The first step is data collection. You have to determine the data sample needed to obtain stable pattern recognition performance. This requires you to have good quality data and enough data. If you can't trust the pattern or it's for such a small subset, what's the value? The second step is feature selection. What characteristics do you care about and do they provide you with information you actually need? We care about technology when it provides business value, not just patterns for pattern's sake. The third step is model selection and can be done through statistical, neural, or structural modeling. Statistical modeling uses a mathematical model to draw assumptions about a larger population from a sample. Neural modeling has gotten a lot of attention lately and draws on how our brain works and contains multiple processing levels. Finally, structural modeling uses various elements of other mathematical and analysis methods to create the models. The type of model used will depend on the sample and your needs. The fourth step is learning. The model has to learn the sample data. Unsupervised learning has a ground truth. We know what the output should be. In unsupervised learning, we don't have pre-knowledge of the output and reinforcement learning relates to what action should be taken to maximize the notion of a reward. Again, based on your needs, industry, and problem, different methods of learning will be utilized. The final step in pattern recognition is cognitive assessment. Is this valid? With pattern recognition, you can fall into many traps like generalizations and overfitting. A good example of overfitting from the past is the Tolmic system which said that the Earth is stationary and at the center of the universe, and used a model to explain the irregular movement of stars and other planets. Overfitting allowed us to believe the Earth was the center of the universe until Copernicus and Kepler proved differently. Recognizing patterns provide significant value as long as they are valid and meaningful patterns based on valid assumptions. With the correct model, data, and interpretation, Pattern recognition provides significant value for all types of industries. 
The ability of computers to recognize patterns has been changing how we do things everywhere. Examples include recognition of text images as coded text characters, biometric recognition and human behavior pattern analysis, diagnostic systems through deep learning, and more. In the process plant industry, pattern recognition and predictive analytics allows us to predict failures in advance. With 89% of failures as random, the ability to find hidden and potential failures in advance is vital. As a result of the industry's demand for large-scale cost reduction, pattern recognition has been a key strategy to improve plant maintenance. The goal of advanced pattern recognition is to enable the use of predictive maintenance, which increases efficiency and productivity of existing equipment, reduces operation costs, and maintains a high level of operation. A study of smart factories and predictive maintenance notes that benefits include 10 to 20% increase in equipment uptime and availability, and a 20 to 50% reduction in maintenance planning time. Plants achieve these benefits by diagnosing and detecting the condition and performance of the plant through factors such as vibration, noise, temperature, and pressure to predict equipment failure. It relies on the actual equipment condition, not the average or expected lifespan. It also allows plants to determine the cause of irregular failures. Why is just as important as what and when. Maintenance has seen a progression towards predictive maintenance to help reduce operating costs and process operation variability. Predictive maintenance doesn't fully replace the other types of maintenance, but studies have shown that every dollar spent on predictive maintenance saves $10 in corrective maintenance. This represents a huge savings potential. The three main types of maintenance we're looking at are corrective maintenance, preventative maintenance, and predictive maintenance. With corrective maintenance, you're identifying, isolating, and rectifying a fault. Getting the system or piece of equipment back operational is great, but corrective maintenance means that the failure occurred. This can be costly and a safety concern. The next type is preventative maintenance, where maintenance activities are done in order to avoid a breakdown or malfunction. Here the failure is not occurring, which is great, but it's typically done based on time duration. How long do I typically expect this fan to run before going out? This can be costly and miss random failures. Finally, predictive maintenance focuses on identifying hidden and potential failures in advance so that a plant has increased lead time to take the necessary actions. And advanced pattern recognition finds the specific signal patterns linked to faults, gives indication of likely future faults, and enables diagnosis. For our solution, Han PHI, our customers see reduced non-productive time and downtime, increased labor efficiency and plant safety, and decreased maintenance costs. How? By eliminating potential and hidden failures in advance. For example, one of our clients saw over $4 million in savings in a little over two years by using our software. The potential ROI is significant, but the people aspect is also key. Our president likes to describe our solution, Han PHI, as a personal assistant. It helps you do your job better and more easily. Work smarter, not longer. For example, one of our clients faced a time limitation. They could analyze all the equipment on a rolling basis, or they could analyze select equipment all the time. With Han PHI, they're able to analyze all the equipment all the time and have their people prioritize maintenance and monitoring. Much better, right? The other aspect is plant safety. I was at a panel last year and someone asked a plant manager what keeps them up at night. It wasn't related to money or efficiency. It was, are they going to get a call in the middle of the night that someone was hurt on site? By eliminating failures before they happen, you keep your personnel from having to react to a failure, which introduces a host of issues. On the cost saving sides, here are a few examples of savings from our customers. In all of these examples, what is important to note is that advanced pattern recognition resulted in early notifications of anomalies. With extended lead time, the plants were able to take the necessary actions to avoid unplanned downtime. For example, a thermal power plant had an issue with a booster fan that had fluctuating vibration levels. 
Because of hump PHI, the plant was able to recognize a misalignment. If the fan had gone ignored or failed, the plant would have lost over 110,000 and lost revenue alone. As you can see, there's significant value to using advanced pattern recognition in a plant, but is it right for you? The first question to ask yourself is, do you have a good plant management system? In order to become a digital power plant, you must have access to data. Predictive analytics bases its advantage on analyzing the data that a plant generates every millisecond of the day, determining the correlation between related sensors and notifying the plants of anomalies. This works great if the plant has all of the data in a single format delivered immediately. It doesn't work that well if plant is missing data due to lagging capture rates or inefficient data storage. So the first step is ensuring you have the necessary data system, like our solution, Han Prism, to utilize advanced pattern recognition. Next, you have to look at the data itself. Garbage in, garbage out applies. Is it measuring what you want? Can you trust the quality of the data? Is monitoring taking place in real time or near real time? Predictive maintenance provides you with increased lead time to take the necessary action. But if there's a data delay, you lose some of the benefit. A second question is, are my people willing to use data more? Don't discount this obstacle. All levels of the organization must internalize the value and benefit of implementing a data-centric approach that utilizes advanced pattern recognition. Any advanced pattern recognition solution is too expensive to sit on the shelf not being used. A final question is how are you going to implement the solution and pay for it? Some items to consider when thinking about the ROI are downtime or outage costs of lost production, cost of replacing a piece of equipment or system, productivity loss of personnel reacting, overtime when reacting to a failure, and labor required when doing corrective or preventative maintenance. If you're ready to add advanced pattern recognition into your strategy, our plant health index solution, Han PHI, alerts users of potential problems at a plant before it happens. It focuses on the current condition of the plant, not the ideal plant that exists in a vacuum. Han PHI uses an empirical data model that learns historical, fault-free, normal operation data to create patterns. This solution identifies small deviations in equipment and operation behavior that are precursors to potential and or hidden failures. As previously mentioned, the predictive data model uses fault-free normal operation data collected and stored by the historian. Here the variables are read and the model executor then calculates expected values, residuals, and health index of each process variable, piece of equipment, and the entire plant. But information isn't useful unless it's easy, accessible, and understandable. So the solution displays the health index in intuitive hierarchical order to help focus the user on the root cause variable. And if the solution detects an anomaly, an early warning is generated. At the core of this technology is its ability to detect several thousand unique patterns based on the historical plant data. These patterns let you understand what the current value of the tag is in relation to the operating condition. And the solution doesn't require a pattern for every single instance of every single condition. The solution uses the intelligence and algorithms to predict a pattern for conditions not contained in a set pattern. On the screen now are the fundamentals of Han PHI's predictive data modeling. The operational data that reflects the plant status is collected from the DCS, PLC, or other data acquisition system. A predictive model is constructed by using correlation algorithms based on the data. The correlation algorithms are used to differentiate and analyze the correlation between signals that affect each other. And any abnormal data is removed so as not to skew the predictive data modeling. For example, the bearing temperature and vibration in a turbine and the temperature and pressure in a turbine shaft are all related signals, so they can be grouped into a turbine group. Other signals may be grouped together when they are designed to automatically or manually adjust to prevent just drastic increases or decreases. Finally, general properties should be considered like the relationship between flow rate, temperature, and pressure. Once completed, the selected data 
reflects the physical and empirical properties of the signal itself. Through this process, a series of groups are created. Since patterns are based on normal operating data of the plant, the model also reflects the operating environment of the plant and equipment. For example, the model considers the seasons. The pattern for the summer season looks a lot different than the pattern for the winter season. Finally, the predictive model must be optimized. Even if there's a subtle change in signal value, it can be a very important change. And even if there is a sudden change, it may be a natural change in the characteristics of the signal. When the prediction model is executed, the real-time actual values are compared with the expected value to calculate the residual values. The difference is expressed as an index from 0 to 100%, and the greater the difference between actual and expected, the closer to 0 the value. Again, information is useless if it's not easily accessible or understood. So this easy to understand health index gives all levels of the organization a better understanding of the current plant status. What's important to note about Han PHI is that it provides early warnings regardless of what the DCS alarm level is set to. Existing alarms like from the DCS generate an alarm when the value reaches a specified alarm set point, regardless of the external environment, load, season. In contrast, Han PHI and our advanced pattern recognition considers all of this to provide early warnings. When a DCS alarm occurs, it may be too late to act as a breakdown is imminent, causing equipment damage and loss of money and time. In contrast, Han PHI provides added lead time to respond to exacerbating equipment conditions, transforming reactive maintenance to predictive maintenance. Now, let's take a look at the actual software. Plants have adopted our solutions to alert its personnel of sensor, equipment, and operation failures before they happen. Han PHI can alert a plant on the system behavior in any condition and give an early warning, not of a failure condition, but of a condition that if not addressed will cause an issue. Plants see reduced unexpected equipment failures, unplanned maintenance activities, and outage time. Thanks for joining us on this webinar. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.